Guy Johnston and I'm Artistic Director of the Hatfield House Chamber Music Festival. This is our first virtual education concert and we're absolutely delighted to be sharing it with all of you from schools around Hertfordshire. I grew up in this wonderful county and my parents have a music school in Harpenden and I was surrounded by music from a very early age. I tried lots of instruments, I was a bit spoiled. They had all sorts of instruments in the music shop where my grandmother worked and I used to help her behind the till. And we just had lots of fun and I played the piano, I played the tuba, which my dad claimed to have dug up from the garden um, just to get me to play it. And I also played the cello, which stuck with me. It kept me pretty much out of trouble most of the time. So today we have musical offerings from the Purcell School, wonderful music school in Hertfordshire and I'm very grateful to Paul Hoskins for putting this programme together, including works by Mozart, uh, Pachelbel, Handel, Grieg, and so on. Uh, a real variety, and I think we're all in for a treat. I'd like to thank Jill Knight, our Education and Outreach Manager, for putting it, helping to put it all together, and we really hope you enjoyed it, that it might even inspire you, particularly during this difficult time to uh, think about taking up a musical instrument if you haven't done so already. I personally find it something so fulfilling in my life and I just hope that you all get to have a chance to sing or play something in the future if you aren't already. So also we very much hope that we will see you next year in person and we're sorry that we can't be this year. Anyway, we hope you enjoy, have a great time and I'm now going to hand over to Lord Salisbury at Hatfield House. Welcome to the Marble Hall at Hatfield House. I think this is probably the most popular venue of the four or five that we use for our annual Hatfield House Chamber Music Festival. And in fact, this year, we'd been looking forward to another musical event which might have taken place in this very room. It would have been a joint effort with the Purcell School, which is, as you know, a remarkable Hertfordshire-based musical institution, uh, with Guy Johnson, the director of the Hatfield House Chamber Music Festival, and with students from local schools in Hertfordshire. Sadly, this wretched virus has put an end to that idea, for this year at least. COVID-19 has made it impossible for the talented musicians of the Purcell School to come here, even to record a concert for live streaming. I only hope that we can reschedule the event for next year, 2021. Meanwhile, we're not to be defeated, and heroically, the Purcell Scholars have recorded a concert from their own home base near Tring, and have added things from this year's recordings of the Chamber Music Festival which are still, by the way, available online. I do think that in lockdown, music has become more important than ever. And this is particularly true, of course, for schools. So as our contribution to fighting the effects of this virus, I hope you'll enjoy this concert and that we can all meet under somewhat happier circumstances in this room at Hatfield in 2021. Hi, my name is Jennifer and thank you for joining us. We are really excited to be part of the Hatfield House Chamber Music Festival again this year. We are from the Purcell School, which is a specialist music school from students year 6 to 13 who are musically gifted, based in Hertfordshire. We have to audition to get in and love that we are able to play lots of music alongside our studies of the more traditional subjects like Mass and English. We hope you enjoy the music we have prepared for you.
Hi, I'm Freddie, I'm a trumpet player, and I've been playing for five years and studying at the Purcell School for three. You're about to hear the Handel Bore from the Firework Music and the William Walton March. How about you clap along with the rhythm as well? Hope you enjoy.
My name's Alex, I'm a 17 year old oboist and I've been playing the oboe for about nine years. Uh, the recording you're going to be watching is of me playing the Albanoni Oboe Concerto. Uh, it was written in about 1722 um, and for me it was a really enjoyable experience to be able to play with a string ensemble. Hello, my name is Dania. I'm so pleased to be a part of this project as I really believe that everyone should listen to classical music and Mozart is such an important composer. I'm in year 10 now. I started playing my instruments when I was in primary school like you, so it's really great that you are learning about classical music. When I first started learning an instrument, I learnt the violin and then I learnt the viola. I have played this piece before on viola, but this is the first time that I've played it on the violin, so it was a new experience for me. I really hope that you enjoy it and it will inspire you to learn an instrument and to listen to more classical music.
Howard Skempton, born in 1947, has been known for his quirky compositional style and vast number of works. Today we shall be performing his Chamber Concerto, written in 1995, the world premiere of which, conducted in the same year, was conducted by Paul Hoskins, our own director of music. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> 